Today we're talking about the story of Jesus meeting up with some people on the road to Emmaus. And during that experience, he revealed some things about himself to them. And we're going to play a game with what's called a chatterbox that is going to reveal some things about Jesus. So the way you play this game is um, you see that there are different colors on the edges. We need to pick a color. And uh, let's pick blue. And what we're going to do is we're going to spell blue and make the chatterbox spell it with us. So blue is B L U E. Okay, and that reveals the inside of the chatterbox's mouth. And you can see there are some numbers in there. So we need to pick a number. And I think that three is looking good. So let's do three. So let's count with the chatterbox. One, two, three. And now you get to pick another number. Which one do you think? Let's go for the six. All right, so in this case, we lift up the tab with the six and see what it says. And it says, Jesus was part of God's plan. And let's see, let's try it again. All right, let's pick another, another color. How about green this time? All right. Let's spell it out with the chatterbox. G-R-E-E-N. All right, now let's pick a number here. Uh, let's go with five. One, two, three, four, five. And let's pick a number. Let's go with eight. All right, so let's see what eight says. It says Jesus died on the cross. And each one of these tabs has something that we can learn about Jesus. Jesus is God's son. Jesus uh, is coming again. Jesus appeared to his disciples after he rose. Jesus died for your sins. Jesus rose from the dead and Jesus loves you. And so now I'm going to show you how to make your own chatterbox that can reveal things about Jesus. Okay, so what you need to start out with is a piece of paper, a pair of kid safe scissors, some crayons or markers that are in the color that you want to have on the outside of your chatterbox, and something to write with in the inside. Now make sure that you have parent supervision or parent permission to uh, use these things. All right, so we need to take a letter-sized piece of paper and we need to get it into a square. So the way that you do that is you fold down the corner and so that this short edge meets the long edge and then you want this corner right here to be folded exactly in half. All right, so then we've got a triangle right here. Now we're going to cut on the edge of this triangle, this edge of the triangle. All right, then we open that back up and we've got a line this way. We actually want a line this way as well so that we can tell where the center of this is. It helps a lot to know where the center is as we go through the rest. So we fold it in half and we get another triangle. And when we open it up, we have an X that marks the spot. All right, then what we do is we fold all four corners of our square into the middle. And that's where that X helps because 
it helps us know where the middle is. All right. So once we have all four corners folded into the middle, we end up with another square. We turn this over and we have another X. Now, what we do is we fold the corners in again. Okay, so on this side it looks like this, and on this side it looks like this. And now we're going to fold it in half like this. And then we're going to open it up and fold it in half the other way. Now, another thing that you can do is you can open these tabs on the inside and you can cut them down the middle so that it's easier to open them individually. Okay, so now you're ready to decorate your chatterbox. And if you want, you can write out the colors or what we used to do when I was in elementary school, we used to color it in with the colors, okay? Then once you've colored each one of these a different color, um, you open this up and you write your numbers. So you start one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now you're ready for the last part, the inside. And so I want you to write messages about what you know about Jesus or draw some pictures related to Jesus. And then once you've done that, you're ready to play. All right, so what we do is we stick our fingers into these parts right here and we bring out the chatterbox, and then see, I've got four fingers in here, and I can operate the chatterbox like this.